I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you a question on geometric sequence. Find the number of terms in geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, 54 till 118098. So in a geometric sequence we have to look for first term that is the value of A. The first term is 2 for us and then we have to find the ratio which is R. Ratio is between consecutive terms. So in our case, the ratio is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And then we can do 18 divided by 6, which is also 3, right? Similarly, as we move on, we find that each successive number is being multiplied by 3. So R is 3. So the ratio of these numbers is 3. So ratio R, that is what we mean. Ratio R is Three. We could do 54 over 18, we'll again get 3. So the geometric series is the one which is always having fixed ratio, right? So what is the general term? General term for such a series will be A and you're multiplying by R every term. So it is R to the power of N minus 1. The second term is multiplied once, so that is N minus 1, right? So this is the first term is not multiplied by R. It is as such. So, so this part is 1. That means 1 means it is 0, right? So it is N. Uh, so where, where the value of N has to be greater than 1, correct? So you start with the second term. You cannot put 0 here, okay? That's a restriction. Okay, so that is the nth term. So every next term is multiplied by R. Now the idea is, we have to find the last term. We don't know what that number is, right? We know this is first, second, third, fourth, and this is, we don't know what. So what we know, the formula, which is the nth term is A times R to the power of N minus 1. We can apply this formula. We know the nth term, which is 11 8098 equals to A is 2 for us, R is 3 for us, and this is N minus 1. Now to solve this equation, we can divide by 2, right? So let's divide. Uh, so we have 118098 divided by 2 equals to 3 to the power of N minus 1, correct? So that is what you get. Now we'll see how to solve this. Let me first divide and rewrite the equation. We have 11, 8, 0, 9, 8 divided by 2. Half of that, I'm sorry, I added. So 11, 8, 0, 9, 8 divided by 2 is 5, 9, 0, 4, 9. Right? So the equation which we need to work with is 3 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 5, 9, 0, 4, 9. Good. That's what we have. Now, how to solve such an equation? Now, one way is you could randomly start putting uh, 3 to the power of some big number, let's say 10. Okay, so what? Oh, fortunately, we got the same answer. So, randomly, you can put a number. I selected 10, right? You could do in sequence, like you could have done 3 to the power of, let's say, 8, right? You get a smaller number. Then you try a bigger number, let's say 11, okay? You get a bigger number, you try the smaller number. So, so 10, okay. So, you know, 3 to the power of 10 is the same number. So, that is one way of doing it. So, when you try, then you say, well, 3 to the power of 10 is 59049. And that means what? If you do this way, this is method number 1, uh, then you say, well, n minus 1 is equal to 10. Let me solve it here now. We say n minus 1 equals to 10. n is 11, right? 10 plus 1. So you say this is 11th term. So that is how you could do, if you don't know, logarithms, right? Now some of you understand logarithms. For them, the solution will be kind of like this. Let me do it the other way also. Uh, so the logarithm is take log both sides. So when we take log of 3 to the power of n minus 1, we are taking log on both the sides. We take log of 59049. So this really becomes n minus 1 comes 
here log of 3 equals to log of 59049 uh, five, and then we can find what n minus 1 is so n minus 1 this exponent is ratio of log of that number 59049 divided by log of the number here a right so we just log 3 and then you can find right so you could do log of so let's use the log function which in our case is here so we have log is the basis 10 so i'll use this function log of 590 oh, sorry so we have log of 59049 so that number let's calculate this divided by log of 3 log of 3 okay is equal to we get the number 10 you see that so you could use the calculator log function to find this value so we get n minus 1 equals to 10 n equals to 10 plus 1 which is 11 you get the same answer correct so if you don't know logarithms you could do trial and error if you know logarithms it's kind of convenient so i'm anil kumar and i hope this helps you to understand how to find the nth term for a geometric sequence and more than that how to use logarithms to calculate your answer in solving exponential equations i hope that helps you can subscribe and share my videos thank you and all the best